So here's the 2022 Sedona Mountain Bike Festival in one video. I camped the first night, made some soup, woke up the next morning, there was hot air balloons in the air. Wow, thought it was pretty cool. Then they started getting closer and even closer. The guy says, hey, what's for breakfast? I kind of thought, hmm, I don't have enough to feed everybody. Then they landed, so I knew they were serious. Then I saw that he was bringing friends, so I got the heck out of there and went for a ride. This is from last year. This is MTB Allen, Shay and the Crashing Dad, and Paul the Hunter trying to show me how to do this rock roll. I said, heck no, because it was kind of sketchy. This year I decided I'm gonna do it. First try, boom, nailed it. Paul says, oh no, you're doing it all wrong. Get more weight forward. I did, it was much smoother. Then we went to the top of High Line and started going down. Always fun to have a little bit of flow before it gets to the chunk. That's Shane and Paul ahead of me, and then I get a little front tire washout. Is my helmet into a branch? Yeah, I hit my face and my hand and my handlebars, but I was okay. And then I followed Paul for a while. We didn't get to really go as fast as we normally would here because there was a bunch of hikers. I think Sedona Mountain Bike Festival and Sedona Hike Festival fall in the same week. And then we come to this giant wall and we look at it and everybody looks at it and says, this is how you do it. But I said, nope, we're not doing it. Eric will do it though. But before Eric could do it, we see this guy come rolling out of nowhere. Nails it. Then he says this. Wasn't that bad. <laughs> That's what we always say, isn't it? <laughs> so much easier than it looked. <laughs> then Eric tries it. And of course, he makes it. But that cactus you see right there, he did it again. That cactus wasn't safe because he rolled off the trail into it and crashed pretty hard. And then we just left him in the dust because I never saw him again until we got back to the parking lot. Sorry, Eric. This guy that we saw just do that big major roll, his name is Jesse. He's from San Diego. And Shane and him are deciding to do this extracurricular Nate Hills line, I would guess. At the very top of Easy Breezy. I didn't do it because, well, um, it was kind of windy. But we got on the normal part. Actually, this is above the normal part. Still, this looks a little uh, easy, but it was sketchier than it looks. We rolled past all the gawkers and onlookers and into the trail. Easy Breezy, one of my favorites. I love the sound of this bike on the rocks, don't you? And then at the bottom of Easy Breezy was another nope, not doing it moment. This was a pretty oh, massive yeah. drop. I mean, the transition looked pretty good, but you had to get at least 10 feet of air, I'd imagine. These guys made it look easy. Life goals, maybe one day, but not today. And then our new friend Jesse from San Diego, boom, he nails it. If you want to see it again, here it is in slow motion from a different angle. Nice job, Jesse. Cool. Part of the reason also to go to Sedona is the views. This was amazing. But then we got lost, but then they have these signs, but they need to put on the signs, hey, this is where you are because I was still lost, but I followed everybody in. And then there was this. This roll was about three times as big as the one I did earlier. I was kind of stoked because yeah. I had never done that one before. I'd always ridden around it, and I did it. Three weeks ago, I probably wouldn't have done that. Again. Dude, I hit it. I rolled nice. it. That was awesome. Yeah. Someone's <laughs> yelling at you. <laughs> yeah, dude. It turns out that Alan hadn't done it either. He just kind of went around it. So we decided to do it again. And I know GoPro effect, blah, blah, blah. That is much steeper and more off camber than it looks. And it was a feat for me to get it done. And we were pretty proud. And then Alan does it first try without even looking at it nailed it nice yeah, job baby. mountain biking is all about having fun with friends and progressing and that's exactly what we did at this mountain bike festival
As you can probably see from the video, you can tell it was getting cold and windy. So we decided, hey, it's time to go check out the festival. And when we got there, to my surprise, it wasn't nearly as crowded as normal. Probably because most of the people were out trying to get a ride in before the weather. So we visited a few vendors, and my favorite one there is Tasco MTB. T-A-S-C-O, which stands for The Awesome Shirt Company, and they gave us some matching hats. Thanks, Nate. Then I decided, hey, I better head home before it gets really bad. And in the air, I noticed this. What is that? It was a California condor. Not one, not two, not three, but about a dozen of them. It was a pretty amazing. If you don't know that story, you've got to check them out. Major, major comeback. And then after I saw the condors, boom, the snow that I was worried about came in. The roads got really bad, but I made it home. And when I got home, our new friend Jesse had sent me some pictures of the festival that his good buddy Bernard took. Thanks for the videos. Thanks for the photos. And guys, Thanks for watching. See you next time. And speaking of seeing you next time, thanks for stopping me. Those who saw me at the festival and said, hey, aren't you writing my best life? It was pretty cool to get recognized by a few of you for my videos. Sure, I didn't get stopped as much as MTB Allen and nobody wanted to take any pictures with me, but it was still cool. So thanks for watching. Thanks for sharing the stoke. Get off the couch, get out and ride.